long as America has been a country, members of the armed forces have fought to defend it and have suffered injury and death in doing so. To recognize and honor the unique sacrifice of suffering wounds in combat, the U.S. has a specific award, the Purple Heart. Its legacy traces back to the nation's earliest years when General George Washington introduced the badge of military merit in 1782. It was an award of valor to recognize soldiers who had faced the enemy, and it was the first award meant for enlisted troops. Unlike with today's Purple Heart, soldiers had to perform an act of heroism essential to the Continental Army's success to receive the badge. The first recipient of the badge of military merit was Sergeant Elijah Churchill on May 3, 1783. In 1781, Churchill led successful attacks on a supply depot and then a raid against Fort Slongo, in which Churchill was wounded. Churchill was presented with a purple heart-shaped badge with the word merit embroidered on it. After the revolution, the award quietly went away. It was revived as the Purple Heart in 1932, thanks to General Douglas MacArthur. MacArthur sought to revive the medal in the Army to mark the bicentennial of Washington's birth. It was redesigned, and in addition to commemorating bravery, it would recognize soldiers wounded in action. During World War II, President Franklin Roosevelt designated the Purple Heart for all service members who were killed or wounded in combat. More than 1.9 million service members are estimated to have received the Purple Heart for sacrifice in combat since Washington established the award.